Martin. Let's bring in former spokesperson for the recall Gavin Newsom campaign, Randy Economy, and California GOP delegate Roxanne Hoge. Thank you both for coming on. The city offered a $75,000 enlistment bonus in addition, Randy, to the $110,000 a year. I have a nephew who's a police officer, and, you know, the, the money is just in a lot of places in California. Not that good, Roxanne. No. And it needs to be better. It's not that good, but I think even more important than the money is support. Yep. So that's a great signing bonus. And then if you have a DA like George Gascon, for <clears throat> example, like we have here in Los Angeles, your life isn't worth that. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole thing. If, if the political people are not don't have your back, it's a tough career. Joe Biden's post on X, we were talking about this in the break. He says any person willing to work hard should be able to get a job, raise their kids on a good paycheck and keep their roots where they grew up. And, you know, we talked about this, Roxanne. You, my, my kids can't live in California. They just can't afford it. There's no way. It, it's impossible for for most people to live here. I mean, just your, your purchasing power from your dollar has just gone through the roof. You know, a bag of groceries mm -hmm. you could get out of the store for $20 a few years ago. Not now. Right. I know Gavin Newsom probably better than anybody in America because I worked so hard on the recall campaign to remove him from office. Mm -hmm. Is Fails he going to run? Is he going to run for president? He's just not ready for prime time. And I, he's going to get on the stage and he's just going to be a big flop. He's yeah. not ready for prime time, but his hair is. And unfortunately, yeah. people are swayed by stuff like that. Yeah. So a Bay Area supervisor, his name is David Canepas, uh, supported decriminalizing, talking about police, he just supported decriminalizing things like stealing less than $950, Proposition 47 back in the day. Well, he's saying, you know what? I got it wrong. I got that wrong. He says, quoting, whatever we're doing now to combat the epidemic of organized retail theft is not working. $30 billion lost to national retail theft is an absolute outrage. The fear of organized retail theft is driving people away from our beloved shopping centers. Not often Democrats say they're wrong, Roxanne. In fact, you very seldom hear it. Kudos to him for coming to that realization. Mm -hmm. Little late because anyone with a room temperature IQ would have noticed that when they saw the Safe Neighborhoods and Schools Act, yeah. which was badly named. Yeah. Um, just a terrible, terrible bill.